State your business. Oh, it's you. What is it now? I'll go now, but I really appreciate your talking to me. Yes, well, the bugs await. Go. Hey, no one's allowed out here unless they're wearing a protective suit. Darn it. Dr. Craven? He's sound asleep. He must have decided to take that antihistamine after all. Perfect. Oh my gosh, this is the page that was torn off Quigley's clipboard, which means the person who trashed your camp must have been Dr. Craven? All right, looks like employee number 14-667-93, otherwise known as Fighterman, was assigned to locker 13. The combination is R4L2L7R9. men in yellow off my back. There's about a jillion plants in here. How am I supposed to know which one to take a sample from? Maybe this will help me figure out what plan I'm looking for. Shipping. Yeah. Let's see what this place has been sending to whom lately. Richard Akins at Akins Biotech? That's who hired Frank and Joe Hardy to check out the Mapus. FERC-21 was extracted from an unexpected but fortuitous mutation, which I've managed to successfully propagate. Have it tested immediately because I do believe this is the one. Mutation, huh? Something tells me that's the plan I need to get a sample from. Suppliers. That doesn't sound very helpful. Accounts. That doesn't sound very helpful either. Extract codes. Maybe that's what FERC-21 is, an extract code. Hmm, looks like a list of substances and the names of the beds containing the plants they came from. Yes, it says here that FERC-21 was extracted from the plants in bed HH-3333. And according to that note from Dr. Craven, those plants are apparently mutants. Uh-oh. 
like I'm going to have to stay out of sight from here on out. Okay, little plant, this won't hurt a bit. Waverly here. Haven't seen anything or anyone unusual. Over. Weird whispering again. Uh-oh, the color of the leaf sample from the Healy Healy doesn't match the color of the frass sample. Oh, I guess I'd better go tell Quigley. have been eating is not what Dr. Craven's been growing at the Healy Healy. The samples didn't match? No. What should I do now? Okay, listen up. Open my pack down there, take out the container of canopy samples I've collected, and see if one of them matches the brass sample. Got that? Got it. I'm back! Do you have something? Uh, not yet. Then I'm not coming down. These crazy things are dancing up a storm. need to analyze that. Definitely not blue. That doesn't match. Not a match.
A match? So, looks like those caterpillars have been eating fritillated flag beetles, whatever they are. That doesn't match. Not a match. Have you got something? Well, it looks to me like those caterpillars have been eating nothing but fritillated flag beetles. Fritillated flag beetles? No. No, that's not possible. I've never even heard of a fritillated flag beetle. The fritillated flag beetle is a relatively minor species in this area. But if your analysis is correct, that means they're multiplying at an even greater rate than the Norsebana are. The question is, why? Fame and fortune just got put on hold, Nancy. We can't go public with this until I figure out what the heck is going on. Where are you going? Up. I do my best thinking when my feet aren't touching the ground. Don't ask me why. I've carried you long enough, Nancy. You're on your own. Oh, wait a sec. I know what you can do. There's a metal ring inside my pack. I found it at Kapu Cave when I was setting out frog traps. Maybe you can figure out what it's for. Darn thing got me stumped. Okay, I'll check it out. Hello? Hi, Frank. Before I forget, I came across this wall that has this really creepy face on it and all these pictures of animals carved into its teeth. And I'd kind of like to know why it's there. Well, if I come across anything that involves a creepy face with critters on its teeth, I'll give you a call. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. <laughs>